and I'm a personal trainer. It's time to walk it out and get fit to over a hundred of your favorite songs. Holy optimism, Dr. 8-Ball. I haven't seen this much excitement since happy hour. This is Walk It Out for the Nintendo Wii. This is the game's opening promo video. Let's watch my favorite shot. That's right. I'm talking to you, Dad. Let's watch it again. I'm talking to you, Dad. In slow motion. I'm talking to you, Dad. What did the director tell that actor to get that reaction? The lead in Avatar 2? It's yours if you want it. Walk It Out is one of these games that's far more interesting than the packaging would lead you to believe. This is a very creative exercise game for the Nintendo Wii that can be played with the regular controller and nunchuck, the Dance Dance Revolution controller, or the Wii Balance Board. Thanks to subtitles, I finally know what the Black Eyed Peas are saying. Very, very deep songs. Basically, what you do in this game is you walk in place in time to the music, and you earn points for each step you take on the correct beat. You then spend the points to build this fictional island and fill it with buildings, cars, trees, and even windmills. You also buy additional songs and stuff with the points, and the game is packed with mini-games. As you can see on the top left, I've got 500 points now. I'm going to build a fountain. Although I have to stop to do it. That's, that's my biggest gripe with the game, is that it's actually difficult to point the Wii controller at the screen and hold it steady while you're basically marching in place. So you have to stop, aim, click, and build. There's a number of settings to the game, and to make it more difficult, what you can do is actually have it erase points if you miss stepping to the beat, which is of course detrimental if you happen to stop to build things. So I turned that off. You can also make it far easier to build things, making them cost less if you want to just build the island as fast as possible. It may look a little clumsy here on screen at first, because the controller's basically be flying all over the screen. But once you start playing it, and, and if you like it and get into it, it's extremely intuitive, and it is kind of cool to see the island just come to life before your eyes. And you're doing more than just sitting on the couch, shooting people and running them over to do it. That's a different game. They definitely need to have a, a mature version of this game, where they basically cross-brand it with Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Instead of building the island, you walk and tear down the island. The end of the game, the, the whole object of the game, is to stand on an overlook watching this sea of fire that used to be the island. All the while getting exercise, burning calories, and feeling great. This is a very interesting game. It's a creative way to make an exercise game that you can play with your kids. There's a two-player mode so you can walk beside a friend, girlfriend, wife, husband, robotic, servant, or your children. Uh, did you see a green thing I just clicked on? I just bought a new song for the game. The game is packed with music. Mostly extremely upbeat pop music. Now some people might argue, why don't you just walk outside for free instead of playing a video game where you walk? But what if you live somewhere where you're buried under 24 inches of snow? Walking is frankly impractical in that much snow. And what if you live in the world from rain of fire? If you step outside, you could be eaten by a dragon. Nice music, The Go-Go's. It's been a while since I've listened to The Go-Go's. I thought this was neat. You can go to this overlook and then look at the island that you're filling with buildings. The strength of this game is that it gives you something to do while you're exercising, because any exercise in order to be effective needs to be done for a long time. Playing with the Wii controller and nunchuck is a, is a bit frustrating at times because you have to march really hard in order for this thing to register your steps. 
This would probably be best played with the Dance Dance Revolution mat or Wii Balance Board. I would have liked to see them give a treadmill setting to this game, because the whole point is to march in time to the music, which is impossible to do if you're jogging on a treadmill at a certain speed. Some suggestive criticism for the next one. Make a treadmill setting. And let me punch people as I walk by them. That would give me arm exercising in addition to just marching with my legs. Yahoo! You can also select playlists, and if you don't like a song, you can turn it off. But what you can't do is replace the music in the game with type O negative. The, uh, the, the musical style and just the very overexcited nature of the game is a bit much for me. But for those of you who do like this style, I, I think the game is extremely well made and very creative. It also keeps track of how much you've walked, your, your calories burned, and all that exercise-y kind of stuff. Yahoo! Walk It Out, a creative exercise game. I'm looking forward to the sequel, Run For Your Life where they definitely need to license 100 Miles and Running from NWA as the title track for that game. But in, in the meantime, I was wondering what it would be like if life was just like Walk It Out. Yeah.